Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post, and you join me here once again in definitely not fried chicken. And things have moved on quite a few days since you were last with me, and I have got some awesome new equipment in my little um, drug production facility here. Yep, uh, we've been doing the basic cannabis. We've got the toasted. We introduced the Amazonian, which I was reluctant to do for a while because I know. To, to make good Amazonian cannabis, you need heat and light and all sorts of good things. Uh, so, can I? does it tell me what it needs? It's not going to tell me that there, is it? No, because I've turned the UI off. <laughs> so, you probably need to... I don't think there's a way of clicking the spot where it tells you what it needs to grow. No. So, we'll ignore that for the moment until I turn the UI back on. Anyway, what I've done is I have taken the research points we got from the university and purchased meth level one. So we are now producing basic meths, cloudy meths is what it's called, which requires a facility here. Actually, shall I go into build mode? Now I can actually tell you what they're actually called. Uh, so we're going in here, we've got cloudy meth. So we've got a meth station. I've got it paused for a very good reason, which I'll get to in a moment. But so if you'll bear with me for for nothing much happening on the ground. So we've got a meth station there. We have got a manual distiller, which is over here. As you can see, these are all quite expensive. Three grand, nearly three grand again for that. We also have a cooling rack here. Now this is where, for at least a day after I put this in place, I was getting very confused about what my game was doing, what these people were doing in the meth lab, because none of it was going into storage up here for delivery out to my lovely, lovely customers. Because I hadn't realised there's a scroll bar here. Whereas the cannabis has three parts of the production process, the bed, the drying and the cutting. When it comes to cloudy meth, for example, there's a fourth stage. Yes, the crushing table. And I hadn't spotted that. Usually my excuse is, when I'm recording a video, because I'm having to think, play, and talk at the same time, one of those things will go amiss, will go awry. And it's usually the spotting the obvious. But I have to be fair to you, even when I wasn't recording an episode, I didn't actually spot this scroll bar. So yeah, it took a day or two for my staff to, to, to cotton on to the fact that they need to crush the cooled cloudy meths. So once that's in place, they'll crush it, which is what this guy here is doing. He's taking it from the, the uh, cooling rack to the crushing table, and it'll be taken out here to the storage room to be boxed up and uh, sent out. So let's turn the UI back on, shall we? And we can see what's going on. So we've got a car here with three cloudy meth ready to go. Because I've turned on my hotline, is back on now, but I'm only supplying cloudy meth because that is, to be fair, quite profitable. And I've got one customer so far for that car, and that is John Adams. My other two cars are taking any and if anything cannabis related, the basic, the toasted, the Amazonian, uh, to the shop in Church Lane, our laundrette, and also to the gun shop. Uh, to actually it's not the gun shop at the moment can I yeah let's put the gun shop back on that list uh, to the university the scrapyard and the gun shop and it's just this one card doing the new orders for cloudy meths now this is where I'm going to admit to being a little bit cheaty because I've read the postings on the steam forums and also in the discord server for the game and I happen to know that Mr. Major, our primary competitor, the previously the previous drug lord of this fine city, will come and attack us once we start shipping cloudy meth. Now we had a, an attack as soon as we com completed our very first delivery of the basic cannabis, and we were left alone after that. We we we, we dealt with that attack. We recovered and we carried on doing really good business. But I know he's going to attack when I get uh, this delivery done. Now I have actually played forward a bit and there's a couple of ways we can deal with that attack. If I don't do anything, he will come in with at least half a dozen, possibly a couple more of his um, 
heavy-handed mobster types with their guns and their nasty dispositions and they will kill all my staff and smash up pretty much all of my equipment. I want to m mitigate that effect. So what I'm planning to do here, I've got bolted doors which should delay them a little bit, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put some of my currently unused equipment into storage briefly so that they can't destroy it. So that when they come, come in, destroy everything that they can, I don't have to purchase everything again and spend lots and lots of money just trying to recover to where I am at the moment. Now that's the sort of acceptably cheaty way of dealing with this, I think. The best cheaty way of dealing with this is to take the door off. No, you don't let the guys do it. You take the door off, which means they can't actually get into my facility. So they all mill around here being very, very annoyed at me doing business, but they won't be able to break in. So they won't kill anybody, they won't destroy any of my equipment, and they'll just get bored after a while and disappear. The downside to that is that my staff realize there's no way out of the building and they will suffer a brief mental breakdown. They will recover from what I've seen, but they will get a little bit annoyed. So what, I, what do I plan to do here? I'm gonna plan to do the slightly cheaty thing. Yeah, I'm not going to prevent the attack at all. I'm going to allow the attack to happen, but I'm going to take avoidance measures. And one thing we can do is we have been supplying the gun shop with goodies and we have got some weapons from them. I do now have a security guard who's got this um, submachine gun. It's a bit fast, not terribly accurate and he's also got protect a protective jacket. But to be honest he'll be dead within a, a moment or two to be honest after the attack starts. So he's almost a waste of money but he's there to sort of show willing to my staff they will be protected honest gov uh, but what we can also get here is some traps and i've got a good number of research points i've accrued here to spend on these extra traps which includes a mine to blow up the attackers and submachine submachine guns shotguns <laughs> now the shotguns are actually very very expensive so i might not deploy those but I think if I unlock this research, we can if we want to use it. So we'll put those in place. Uh, and we've only got the one entrance to our building now, which is here. So if I mine this area here, then when they attack, some of them will get damaged and hopefully deaded as well. So let's have a look at doing that. Now I do already have some traps which I put down for his first attack which I put in storage and not sold. So I can put some of those down here just to sort of delay them. So there we go. And I put in some of these mines. Now I think you actually, because it says they're setting off nearby mines, one on its own I don't think will do you any good at all. So they do need to be a number of them. So if we put, how much are these costing? I'm not looking, 225, I think we can afford this. Yeah, so if I put those in there, and we'll put some more of these traps. In fact, if we put traps all the way down here. Where'd they go? There they go. Trap, 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 trap. And put one there as well. Oh, and one there. Yeah. So that will protect my guys by hopefully damaging or killing a couple of the attackers. What I'm also going to do, because when I played this forward, my uh, warrior here, my security guard, actually rushed out to meet them and was immediately shot dead. I'm going to try and prevent that by creating a room group which he patrols. And in fact, in our criminal education program up here, that is one of the little lessons we can go through. It's one of the little tutorials that's built in. And we will earn a reward from this. Oh, some headphones. Nice. <laughs> so we will do that. So let's actually go through that tutorial so I can show you how it works. I can show you without the, the, without the tutorial, but I'll show you the tutorial. I will show you the tutorial as well. So let's create a room group. And our attorney, of course, every good illegal business does have to have an attorney in tow. 
and this will, will assign the group to employees and once they've been assigned to that they will only work in those rooms. Fair enough. Open the room groups panel. So that's in here. So our employees. It's going to be the security guard we're dealing with. But I don't think it matters who you open because the room groups can be used for any member of your staff, any type of occupation. So that's rooms. We're going to open the panel. And we're going to create a new room group. And we're going to call it security because that's what it's going to be used for. Confirm. There you go. Are you going to tell me the next step? Oh, modify it. Yeah. And now this is where we tell it which rooms, which part of our building are in the room group. So I want this guy to protect. Uh, you guess, just click on the floors of the rooms you want to add or click on them again to remove them from the group. Uh, green rooms are included, red ones are excluded. So let's try it. Yep, yeah, let's do that. So we'll click that, click it again, off it goes. So I want you to go into those rooms there and also that bit of corridor and the storage room and here as well yep that's fine so hopefully this will keep him out of that corridor there now the thing is oh he can get into the meth room yep by going that way round okay so what I'm hoping is that by the time the bad guys get in uh, they will have weakened enough for him to do some damage to at least some of them it's a vain hope to be honest with you but let's try it so there we go and uh, assign the room group to an employee yep so we've got our security guard adam turner that's you there you go uh you're wearing boots you've got the submachine gun and you've got the uh the full metal jacket or something like that Right, so let's actually get this game moving, shall we? So there, this this is the meth man here. Oh, I've also given the people working in this environment uh, some uh, some additional protection because the meth is quite toxic. So in fact, if we just pause that again, so if we go for the overlay, the toxicity. Well, that's the air pressure. That's the toxicity. That is very high. Even though I put in these detoxification units here, working at full pelt. Uh, I need to come out there. Uh, there you are. Yeah, they're working at full pelt. They don't seem to be making much difference. Uh, hopefully you'll see one of these. Oh, and what I've also done in terms of my, uh, my staff. Uh, where's the workers? Uh, tasks. Yeah, so I've split them up. So only a couple of them work on the meth here so I've got one on each shift doing the meths it's like those those um, air filtration helmets are quite expensive so I didn't want all my staff to get them but all the the other workers just work here in the standard cannabis area so that cars off and once he delivers to John Adams uh, we will get a message from the major saying <laughs> You're for it now, matey. So what we're going to do, pause this now. I'm going to put my unused equipment into storage. Back into build mode, and we take you out of there, and there, and there, and you. Uh, you're not in use either, so I can take you out. Uh, so we'll take that heater. Oh, and that heater too, actually. Yeah. Uh, these bit, I could take them out to be honest and, and just take the, the hit, right, just take the cost of uh, losing that production, but I won't do that. Uh, that's quite an expensive bit of kit, so we'll safeguard you. Uh, these storage racks, oh, we'll, we'll take you out and you out. See, these are just being added to my storage unit, so I won't, I don't have to pay to replace them. Is the thing here. My mess lab here. I could safeguard that. Well, actually, I could take one of you away. Oh, and perhaps one of you. Okay. These are expensive, but I suppose you've got to pay the cost of being attacked. So where's our delivery? Well, he's a little bit away yet. 
Captain, where, what are you doing in here? It's not a corridor! Good grief, man. Honestly. I suppose I could have given him a, uh, a room group as well, actually. I could do that and specify more accurately where my different types of worker work. Oh! Ah! And the Major has got become elected Mayor! And their first order of business is on our chicken factory. We don't have a chicken factory. Oh dear. So this is where it all kicks off. Here they are coming in, rushing in. Oh, they've got protective gear on as well. Ah. They've also heard about the effects of cloudy mess. Oh, he's trapped in a trap. He's trapped. And they've... Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh dear me. Oh, he's got out of the trap. They're coming in. They're trying to break through the door. Oh, there's only four of them. Oh no, there's another three coming in from here. Bother. You're going to get caught in the traps? Just a little bit. No! They see, my guy's dead now. My security guard is dead. And they're blowing up all my... <laughs> all the, uh, the staff equipment. Oh, I could have safeguarded one of those drinks machines. Ah, oh, no. And the TV! You rotters! But interestingly, they're not... Oh, hang on. They're, they're, gonna, gonna, they're gonna leave soon. They're gonna leave... Wow! Excellent! They didn't destroy a lot of my really expensive kit. That's good. That's really good, but I have lost a number of staff. Oh dear. Yeah, so we're going to have dead bodies strewn around our storage room for a while. I think so. What, what, what staff have we lost? Wow. Yeah, we've lost five staff. Our security guard and four of our workers. <laughs> ah, and I've got to buy them all kit again as well, haven't I? Dear me. Now the engineer will come and repair pretty much everything that's broken, so that's all right. But what I will do in the meantime, let's put our equipment back into place that was safely stored away. So we'll put you in there and our boxing unit there. That's good. Uh, what else we had? This cutting automated cutting table there we go and several of these toasty beds uh, you were around the other way weren't you there you go in fact there are quite a few of these that we safeguarded that was clever of me um, amazonian no looks like that was it oh we did uh, safeguard the cooling rack didn't we here Excellent. Okay, so we've got all our equipment back in. Let's spend money and employ staff. Uh, one, two, three. There you go. So, uh, Mariah King, we need on the schedule. So, Hannah Flores can be on schedule zero. And you can do all the cannabis stuff and storage. Aiden, also on zero, but you'll be doing the meth and storage. Catherine here will be on schedule one, doing all the cannabisy stuff and storage. And Eli will be on schedule one, but doing meth and storage. Excellent. But I want them all to have some kit, so they should at least have these clean booties. And possibly the gloves as well. 50% cool down time, whatever that means. Okay, so you can have that. Uh, so you're Hannah. And Aiden. Likewise, the booties. And the... Uh, actually, Aiden, you're not working on the cannabis, so you don't need the gloves. But can I give you... It's a thousand... Wow! For the respirator. See if you can live without it for the time being. We, we're not... Yeah, we will get quite short of cash if I give you that. If I give both of you that. So, Catherine, 
you're a cannabis worker, so you can have that and the gloves. Eli, you work in meth, so we'll just have the clean booties. Okay, that looks good. I think they're all coming to work. I'll give them the uh, the outfits once we've uh, got some money back. How's our sh what's our shop doing? Oh, we've got a good supply of stuff here. Right, so we should recoup that loss fairly quickly. Oh, and it's a new day. Just gone six, so they'll, they've opened up now. So are we getting any customers in here? Customers? Oh, since the last time you were here, I have expanded the counter area slightly. I think I've added another member of staff, working staff, and added another cash till uh, so they can process the incoming customers more quickly. Someone's having a party. Yes, we'll accept that. Oh, that reminds me, is, um, oh, John Adams still wants his meths. <laughs> Good. And our engineer is going to be very, oh, he's fixing the doors. Oh, now one thing, if he fixes these mines, once he's got two mines fixed, they will explode and blow him up. So what I'm going to have to do is take these mines off into storage. At least all of them apart from one, I think. I think he can repair that one safely. And we don't need these traps either. So, okay, I'll just uh, remove these into storage. I'd like there to be a, some sort of mechanic where if the engineer or any member, well, perhaps any member of your staff, but especially the engineer, if they go out and fix something that's dangerous, they don't themselves suffer the problem of, of being blown up or trapped or whatever, or shot at if you had a shotgun, for example. So it'd be nice if... Uh... Oh, he's mending the bin. Yeah, there's other more important things to mend, like the television. Ah, it's good, good. That's why an engineer is important. Keep things running smoothly. Oh, we're making some money now. This is good. Okay, we're going to give one of you meth chappies. Aiden, we'll give you the respirator. There you go. In fact, yeah, both are meths workers appear to be male as far as you can judge by their name I'm not sure gender is terribly important when it comes to drug production but there you are I can't remember in the early days of this game before it was released into early access uh, there was talk on the discord server of the cleaner cleaning up the dead bodies I don't think they do they just lie there till they rot through the floorboards or something they will eventually disappear. So they, I'm not sure if our staff get unhappy <laughs> about being surrounded by death. Of course, you can't take, you don't get, re, you don't recoup the cost of the equipment your dead staff wear by the look of it either. Slightly annoying, but hey ho. That was quite impressive though that those guys didn't get into our main production areas. I suppose I could have closed those doors off, couldn't I? Which would have, would have prevented them. Yeah, because if I close these doors here, my staff could still get around through this other corridor. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, the other thing I did as well, uh, off camera, was I've moved my staff restroom, obviously over here, rather than across the road. Just as a way of trying to protect my staff from, uh, from those attackers. Now I've not read about when the Major might attack again. I don't know if he does, as yet. Because we are still quite early in the early access process for the game. Now they have, in fact, just the day I'm recording this, which is the 15th of March, in case you're interested. They have released a performance update to the game uh, today, which improves the AI performance of workers, delivery cars, and also fixes some problems some players were having on very large saves. So they've obviously gone further in the game than I have. We are still awaiting the first sort of major sort of content and feature update, uh, which is promised as part of the early access roadmap. Now, what I was thinking of doing here as well is to improve my staff's sort of well-being. As a considerate employer, I do want to make sure my staff feel valued and happy at work. So what we could do, also another order's coming in. Yes. Oh, I need to change 
your delivery to Navir. There you go. Uh, actually, let's get rid of that mine. If I put another mine down, will another order? Nope. If I put this mine down, will? Oh, <laughs> it's gone. Don't go off. Uh, what if I move that one to there? Will the engineer come out and fix it? Or fix them without being blown up in the process. Here he comes. I could have a corridor going all the way around there, wasn't I? Alright, good. He's fixing that one. Excellent. And are you going to get blown up? No! Excellent. Now what I could do then is put a couple of other broken... You're broken, and you're broken. Good. So he'll fix those two. So if we, I, I can. <sighs> okay. Right now, fix them. So if we, if I, if I get signals that we're going to get attacked again, I'll have some def defenses. Before I get on to what I was about to start talking, what I started talking about, and. Oh, it's obviously a prox. Oh, he's he's not looking well, is he? Uh, engineer. Oh, I need to. Oh, his health is 32. Uh, I hope that recovers. I'll keep an eye on him. Okay, let's uh, unbuild these mines. These, they, see what I mean about these sort of dangerous protective items? Be nice if they didn't go off when your engineer was dealing with them. So you're going to recover your health. At some point, you may need to go to bed before you do that. Anyway, what I was planning to do, talking about my staff's well-being, is redesign the staff restroom here. Or break room, as they call it in this game. I'll take you out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move you up there. Move that there. Move the TV and you up there. Do I want to move you any further, actually? If I put you there, then move you guys. But yeah, if I move you all right up, make this room a bit, quite a bit smaller. Because what we can do here, as we had at the laundrette, is we can put in a kitchen. Yes, so they can actually prepare proper meals for themselves and not rely on snacks from our vending machines. So let's build a kitchen room here. And that can be there. And they would get to it through here. But this is a bit of an awkward... No, oh, don't. Mistake. Right. Remember to dis disable that option. If I put you there and you there, okay, yeah, we'll do do that, and then our kitchen can be a little bit bigger. Not quite sure how big this needs to be, but we will see in a moment. Put in, oh, put in a fancy door, a glass door into the kitchen area. Okay, and in the kitchen, what we want is some counters. That is actually very large for a kitchen. Okay, no, we'll leave it like that. We'll have um, a counter there and there. And we will have ooh, a cooker. Yeah, we'll have a cooker there. We've also got a table. How many spaces does this require? Ah, you can fit in there. That's excellent. Right, and a refrigerator. Actually, let's put this equipment on the other side, because we're, we're getting in the way of the door there, which I think might compromise the layout I want to put in here. So we have a cooker there. So we'll have a chopping board on there. That needs to be around the other way. There we go. And a microwave. I'm spending all my profits here, aren't I? And a refrigerator in which all the good foodstuffs are stored. That's good. 
uh, add a sink. Now that will need to be over here. Yeah. And that's where they wash up after themselves. So it helps keep the place tidy. And a waste bin, of course. Go in there. I think we're not going to have a coffee machine. They've got a coffee machine in there. Right, and that should hopefully keep my staff healthier and happier. Now, don't blow up when you walk up. Good. Oh, he looks a lot healthier now. Excellent. Yes, he has recovered. We weren't watching him closely enough, so I don't know how he did that. He might have just done that by being around his friends and stuff. I've no idea is the short answer to that. Our deliveries are going quite well. Done half of Navia's order. Now, actually, looking at our friendly businesses, do we need to send more stuff out to these? To the university? There's a few bits of kit we can get, actually. Uh, fire resistance. Ah, we could get the hazmat suit. Uh, everything else, we've got to wait for EA, for the early access to release those, those unlockables. Okay, we'll, we'll get the hazmat suit then from the university. The gun shop, there's not much more we can get here, I don't think. Will be of any particular value to us. No. Uh, scrapyard. Again, I'm not sure how useful any of this other kit is. So I don't think it makes any significant difference. Apart from costing more. Just thinking about what I was thinking earlier about limiting my cannabis workers to just the cannabis room. Let's see if we can set up a room group for for that. So if we go to our staff here, a room group. Now it does say they'll only work in these rooms. So I wonder if the corridors and other staff rooms are not included in that group. So let's set uh, this room group up. So let's add a new one. Oh, hang on. Yeah, we'll accept that order. So this is going to be a new group. And we're going to call it Cannabis. There you go. We'll modify it to include the Cannabis Growing Room and the Storeroom. And we'll leave it at that. Okay. And we will put Maria into the Cannabis Room. And Hannah into the cannabis room. And also Catherine. We do appear to have gendered our, our production lines here. Male for meth and female for cannabis. Oh, we haven't picked up our reward, the uh, headphones. <laughs> I'm not worried about those. Again, the thing is, I noticed this in an earlier video, that uh, your staff can only have three items of equipment. Uh, so, for example, our meth worker here. Yeah, I've got two out of three bits of equipment. So if I give them the hazmat suit now. Two grand? Go on, then. It makes you 30% faster, which is handy, I suppose. Uh, you. I will accept you. How's our laundrette doing? I'd like to move on to create another business, a donut or a chicken shack. But we're going to need a fair amount of money to do that uh, because we'll probably want to increase our production. So we need a bigger unit here, so that's going to cost another 11 and a half grand or something to add more space to my production house. Um, yeah, go on. We shall see. Anyway, let's rattle through another day and see how much money we end up with. Oh, they, yep, that member of staff is getting into the kitchen and preparing a lovely meal to eat, a sandwich. And they wash up after themselves. I love my staff, they're so considerate. Oh, lovely, we've got 13 and a half grand. Oh, we're doing quite nicely here, I think. In fact, I think our other member of meth staff Eli, yeah, you can have the hazmat suit as well. 30% meth appliance using speed. Ooh, we're running low on supplies here. Yikes. 
Where's that car got to? You're still filling up. Oh, we're running out of good stuff. This is frustrating. Nope, there he goes. That, I think, is the car for the uh, laundrette. Yes, it is. Not before time to... Oh, but they are closed at the moment now. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Looks like we we don't have a real problem there. So there we go. I th yeah, so I think the next stage of development here will be to expand the production size, the production utility here so we can grow more stuff and open up another legitimate business quite possibly a donut shop yeah and then we'll move on to chicken shops as and, as and when we need to so thank you so much for joining me today for this episode of definitely not fried chicken if you've enjoyed this it'll be great to hear from you a little bit of a like would be lovely just click on the old thumbs yuppie button even better if you've got any thoughts about what I'm doing with the game or the game itself, any corrections to mistakes I've made, I'm sure I have, uh, or your thoughts on using cheats to avoid attack by the Major, anything you feel like saying, just drop it into the comments box below. That would be awesome. And of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. Well, from me, Ajax Post, here in Definitely Not Fried Chicken. Until the next time, bye-bye for now.